Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to the Rising Super Stream. I'm Liam. Some things don't change. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Yesterday we had a fucking um, crazy rushed ass near stream um, where I rushed through the DLC to to get to my dentist appointment, and it was good and it was fun. But I can't help but feel like the rush kind of like brought me down a little because I was like not able to take my time and shit so today I'm excited to take my time hopefully we'll make even less progress than last time in a in a, in a longer period of time um, this is gonna be the extreme take your time stream <laughs> it's gonna be slow as fuck how you guys doing the DLC bosses in near automata PK something are something else um, so it's like three arena fights, right? And doing 90% of each arena is a piece of cake. Like, as long as you're a high level, like level 80 plus, uh, which is kind of abnormally high, as long as you're a really high level... Um, oh, look, the Elgato actually froze. That's weird. I've actually never seen this before. How bizarre. Let me just reset that. Like, I booted the game, and I was like, oh, wait, the Elgato is not moving. Um... The arenas are like a piece of cake. If you're a high level, just blam, blam, blam. But um, at the end of the arenas, uh, there's like a special tier. Um, and doing that special tier is obnoxiously difficult. Okay. There we go. Uh, so like the final tier, I don't want to spoil the bosses you fight, um, but they're absurd. They're like beyond the level cap, uh, like level 135 when you can only go up to 99 and shit. It's a fucking nightmare. It's something. All right. It's something. Um, but like... Ah, fuck. Refresh the stream. Uh, why? Why are you doing this? I hate that. Okay, yeah. Uh, there were, there were like, there were the CEO bosses, and they were, the CEO bosses were actually a complete piece of cake. Uh, they were, they were fucking nothing. I was, I was actually kind of shocked at how fast and easy they were. Um, but rather, doing the special tier bosses in the arena are, is, is a complete nightmare. Um, one of the arenas has to be done, uh, while controlling a machine. You can't actually enter as any of the playable characters. Um, so you have to pick a machine to control and go in. And fighting the boss as a machine is a nightmare. Um, because he's got, like, an AoE attack that requires you to jump reliably to dodge. Um, which would be a really easy thing to do with any other character, uh, but with machines and their delayed jump, it's, like, incredibly difficult, so, yeah. Anyway, we're, today, today we're playing Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Today, today we're playing Getting Drowned in Cables. I, I really have to clean my office a little bit, it's just a little too cable -y. Okay, we got the jumps, we got the attacks, we got the rolls, we got... Uh, triangle, which does the thing, the lock on, and the, the magic palette, uh, and the D pad. Okay, I think I remember how to play this game. Okay, so we had just come back to the castle, and we had just spoken to Bell, and we had just gotten uh, a keyblade, which I didn't equip because whatever. Um, I think we were supposed to continue through the castle. I'm just trying to remember what we were doing last time. I think we're supposed to just continue through the castle. Pretty sure. So. Oh yeah, kinetic. That's true. You could use the game's debug mode to beat the arenas. Yeah. But that's some fake shit. You gotta fight strong. What do I think about the fifty U.S. The $50 US DLC for Fire Emblem Echoes? Shit, let me look that up. I saw a headline about the DLC, but I didn't actually click on it. $45 season pass. Holy shit. This is $45, not $50, but... I mean, it's pretty fucking similar. 
Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm not buying it. Honestly, the Fire Emblem DLC has been fucking abysmal in the previous two games, so... No way I'm buying that. Oh, this was nothing. Well, time to take the elevator back. God, that's... That's absurd, like... Like... You know, that, that price... Any price can be fair if the content's worthwhile. Like, totally. That, that could be a fair price. But considering how, like, awful the Fire Emblem Echoes DLC has been... Uh, Echoes, pardon. Uh, Awakening and Fates DLC has been... I can't, uh... I can't say I'm excited for that or anything. Uh, whatever. I know I passed a gravity chest there, but fuck me. We're not getting it. Okay, so we weren't going that way. <laughs> ah, I'm trying to make my way back to Riku. But I don't remember the castle 100%. Don't remember it 100. Yeah, oh yeah, you go down this way and you glide through that door above the shield knight. And you do it in one go so the shield knight doesn't get you. You know, I, I'd be inclined to say, yeah, I might get some of the DLC individually or whatever, but, like, I... It was so bad in, in uh, Awakening and Echoes. Like, it was really awful, the DLC. I remember being so dis... Oh my god, there's so many enemies here now. God, you guys weren't joking when you said there was like a difficulty increase, a difficulty spike after Riku. Nice, nice. I love this area. I seriously love the theming of this area, but it's such a fucking pain in the ass on proud mode to get around. Oh, doors open. Was the Alencia's Gambit Matt good in Fates? That, that I'm not 100% sure. I, I really skimped on the Fates DLC, tell you what. You know, actually, there was one good piece of Fates DLC, and that was the third campaign. Um, but, I mean, that was an entire third campaign. Like, I would expect that to be good. You know what I mean? Like, all the all the little pieces of DLC, or at least most, I find, are, were complete waste. In, like, in Awakening especially, they were fucking garbo. Because in Awakening, it was like, oh, in this map, you'll get a ton of gold. In this map, you'll get a ton of experience. And they're like, single-purpose maps that you should not be playing for any other reason. See ya. Goofy just killed himself off the cliff. Does Thunder work well against flying enemies? Yeah, seems alright. At very least, it kind of just stops you from being temporarily. I mean, it's no stop, but like, you know, it, it, it stops them. I don't want to go off the ledge. so precarious. I can't do that again. Um, so did I just want to get on this guy? No, I wanted to go up this way. Oh, I don't even remember the DLC for SMT Apocalypse. I remember SMT4 had similar DLC. Yeah, you're, you're totally right. Uh, Black Fate, where it was just like, do this and you get a bunch of experience. Do this and you get a bunch of Zenny or whatever the currency was. Dollar dues. I don't know.
But yeah, I, I, I struggle to remember any of... Like, I struggle to remember actually, like, having meaningful amounts of fun in any of the uh, DLC. Which is a bummer, because I like... I really liked Fire Emblem once upon a time. Like, I hate to come off as, like, an awful elitist, but, like, I really didn't like the direction of Awakening and Fates. And it's like... Like, so I'm actually really looking forward to Echoes, because even though the original game is, like, intensely flawed, um, it looks like it's at least not being Awakening and Fates, based on what I read and stuff. So... I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, it's Maka. It's Maka and SMT4. That's the currency. Right, right, right. <laughs> I really didn't like what they did with magic in uh, Fire Emblem Fates either, where they just consolidated it into one, like, magic type. I thought that was silly. Yeah, I agree with you there, Velgadwari. Velgadwari says you're not an elitist for liking anime emblem, it's like a different series altogether. Yeah, I mean, that's just the thing. Like, it it feels so dramatically different. Like, that's that's kind of what, you know, it's kind of what turned me off of it a little. I mean, I still finished them, you know, but, like, it was... If I hadn't been a fan of the series, I would never have picked up Fates at all. At all. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit, that damage. Yeah, check how much experience I need. These guys are doling it out right now. Holy fuck. Holy arrow. Do enemies attack from off screen in King of Hearts 2 as well? Dude, that shit's stupid. Like, I think the only enemy attacks that, like, are allowed to attack from off-screen are, like, attacks that make big, obnoxious noises that you can't mistake for anything else. Like, Overwatch tier sound design attacks can attack from off-screen. Everyone? Okay, that's everyone. How much do I need? Twenty-six oh four. Okay, so so a little bit. Oh, okay. So the camera's different in Kingdom Hearts too. So it's kind of it's kind of a different situation with enemies attacking off screen. Okay. Oh, but in Dream Drop Distance, it's worse than it's ever been? Yeah, that's what I want to hear. <laughs> Good times. It only gets worse from here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that's all it is, Valgadori, is like, I really fell in love with Fire Emblem 7 through... Oh. 7? 8? Nine, ten. Yeah, Fire Emblem 7 through 10. Um, and the Shadow Dragon remake. And, and and then it was like, oh, like it's really, really different now. It's like almost like a different series, almost. Almost. Not, not entirely, but... Yeah. Man, that Ansem kid's fucked up. May as well save. Why not? I'm here.
I'm kind of excited to get back to Dream Drop Distance. I know a lot of people say it's really weak and stuff, but I played I played it for a few hours on 3DS because um, it was one of the big games on the 3DS. At the time, there wasn't a whole, whole lot else going on on 3DS, so I did get it. Because um, I, I want to... I don't know. I, I, I was so excited for that game, and then I barely touched it, so I kind of want to get back to it and see exactly what was up. God, that ledge... Why? Why even put a ledge here? Why even put a ledge here? You can't jump up from it. Fuck me, I didn't even see what hit me. God, I blew it. But yeah, like, why even put a ledge here? <laughs> you can't go anywhere from it. God, I'm actually gonna have to really fight enemies. In this it's so nice that Aurora hits enemies. Like, what a boon. Oh, my, I mean, look at that. If I if I go in with an air attack on the sorcerers, I now kill them in one string instead of letting them teleport away because of Aurora. Aurora. Is there a Chain of Memories-esque arena minigame in Dream Drop Distance? That's cool. Damn, I shouldn't have walked down there because I just respawned all these enemies. I'm wasting all of our time together. Oh, fuck. Oh yeah, max HP up. Did I read all the Ansem reports? Oh, we still have, yeah, that's true. We still have Ansem report five, I think I never read. Studied a heartless. The antenna vibrated, and then it could find a door. Okay, so he saw a big meteor shower. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm kind of excited for Aqua, because I don't really know her deal. But that'll be fun to get to her. Yo, I got Oblivion. That's cool. I hear Oblivion's good. Time to never equip it. P possesses colossal power. I don't really know what that means, but... I guess I'll put it on. Reduces MP by one is, is, is a notable cost, but I'm curious to see what it means. Is that everything in this room? It seems like everything in this room. Probably shouldn't ask if that's everything and then immediately leave, but hey. Oh, they nerfed it in Final Mix? Cool. That's handy. Good thing we're not playing Final Mix. Oh, look, get up on the Hydra's back. Now I get it. seems so bad. To be honest, I wasn't expecting a boss, so I'm not... Like, I really wasn't set up right for it. You know, like, help me and shit. Okay, I gotta remember that. Whenever he gets up, he always does that. Oh, is this a behemoth? Like, a Final Fantasy behemoth? Is that what this is intended to be? Lightning? No, big dash. This is a very nice battle arena, I gotta say. Especially for PS2 era. Yeah, calling it a boss is being generous. Thus far, I kind of agree. Hope I get a lot of experience from it. Okay, that was a bit of excessive rolling, but whatever. I guess safety counts or something. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Oh, fuck. Go get him, Goofy. Oh, fuck, what is that? What is that? You know what? Let's not take the risk. Oh shit. Okay, well, that really didn't do that much damage, so... <laughs> yeah, calling this guy a boss is extremely generous. Mini, mini boss, more like. Oh yeah, big damage Goofy. With those hits. Oh my god, I just saw people talking about Terra and Aqua in the in the chat, and it just totally clicked that that's why he's called Ventus, because that means wind. Uh, I never got that. I thought Ventus was just a funny name. Uh, fuck. I get it now. Sora, you did it. Is that Riku? Oh, it's the life stream. It's the life stream door. You walk through there, you get to meet Rufus Shinra.
No, you'll fucking stay with your parents, you shit kid. You're like seven years old. You're still wearing a onesie. I mean, yeah, Cloud wears onesies sometimes, but that's like an adult onesie. Like the ones that Matt wears. Those are adult onesies, not for kids. We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. No matter where we are, our hearts will bring us together again. Besides, I couldn't forget you, even if I wanted to. What's that supposed to mean? Sorry! Hurry! Come and close the keyhole! Sora, good luck. Wait, is that true? Black Fate? That at this point Sora's mom is dead? Actually? Because I thought they just went away from the island. Did it get destroyed? I guess I blinked at some point. Uh, Odd Slater. Right now, uh, Platinum Games is working on the Grand Blue Fantasy game, but also. Oh, I forget what it's called. Uh, Lost. Lost something. Um, which he's making with the, which they're making with the director of Final Fantasy Tactics, and it's a mobile um, strategy game. Um, I forget what it's called. Lost Order is what it's called. Um, and the, both those games look fucking fantastic. So, but yeah, they don't have any other big projects right now that we know that we know about. I assume Wonderful 101 sequel. I assume Bayonetta sequel. I assume scale bound. <laughs> Wait, you guys got together and you could only scrounge together the power of fire? I thought you'd each give me something. Like, Cinderella would give me the power of fire, and Alice would give me mushrooms, and. I don't really care about the other gifts. That's kind of enough, but I assume we get a bit more than that. So I want to see back in the other room. Did the portal actually, like... Did its art actually get changed? Curious before I leave. No, nope, still, still a big funny portal. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna head back to the library because someone mentioned I should head back to the library. Yeah, it's 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 notable how Ariel is just missing from all of this. I mean, yeah, it would be tough to get her above ground, but like, wait, actually, it totally wouldn't, because you just fucking put her in her leggy form. So fastest way to the library is not this way. This is the slow route. This way. This way. And then... <laughs> I kind of... Like, I hate falling down this area, but I love jumping down this area. Gotta say. And then that's right over there, right? No. Whatever, we're gonna be there soon. We're close. Now I know where it is. Oh, Raflesia. I, I, I for sure think the uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Platinum game will get localized, like, 100%. Even though, like, like Grand Blue Fantasy is in English. I mean, obviously it's not big, like, super big here. Um, but, like, I don't think anyone in this day and age wants to make a big action game like that and not localize it, you know? Yeah, the Code Vein trailer was dope. Uh, Kelly M's... Oh my god, your name. K 
Camillum's Cam 006 Bidan. Yeah, Code Vein trailer was dope. Four and six and ten. Wow. Here's a little thing that'll protect you. What is it? <sighs> wow. <laughs> wow. Missing that would suck. <laughs> Um... Yeah, but PSO2 was like a big service game. Like... That has way more costs involved than just localizing a game, you know? I mean, fuck, everyone thought that game was gonna get localized. If you ask Pat, like, even Pat thought it was going to get localized. He just wanted to keep the bet going, you know? Until he decided not to keep the bet going, because... Because fuck kayfabe, right? Maybe you don't fuck with people's hearts, though. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do for Kingdom Hearts 2, Ozymandia. I'm gonna we'll, we'll do Chain of Memories first, and then we'll figure that out later, I think. Okay, so Ansem fucked with a bunch of shit he really shouldn't have fucked with. And and hearts are turning into heartless and yeah, okay. Can I talk to Belle again? Does she have anything? Of course Belle would be studying up. Okay, cool. So gummy ship. Wait, where are we going now? Where am I going? Oh, cool. Oh, new tournament, okay. Oh, wow, okay, well there's, um, that's, um, God, I can't remember the name, but it was in Chain of Memories. Yeah, 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 that's like the, so is that like the, the final, like penultimate area? Oh, but there's another warp hole here too. Oh no, but that warp hole just fucking loops around to here, right? They just couldn't illustrate it nice. So that's like, Land's End or some shit like that. Or is Land's End a, Land's End's a store? <laughs> yeah, Steve Topism, that's accurate. Um, I'm gonna do both Chain of Memories games at the same time. Uh, because, yeah. Fuck, I just went back to... I was just reading chat and I fucked up. I'm gonna do both at the same time, and that's gonna be a hell of a stupid playthrough. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna be able to definitively 
demonstrate that one is better than the other. <laughs> We're gonna find this out for real and for true, and it's gonna be super enjoyable. Is this the right point to fight secret bosses? Is that, is that, is that right? Film and coffee? So, sorry, did we just unlock Hades Cup and question mark? I believe so. I like how their team names, like, how they have team names, like Shadow Brothers and shit. It's cute. Okay, the Hades Cup checkpoints you every 10 rounds. Holy shit, how many rounds are there? Are there fi oh, 50 rounds, I guess, then. Okay, yeah. Dang. That's handy, I suppose. We're gonna be doing this for a while, then. So, um, Sephiroth is at the end of the, um, the question mark cup, right? Not the Hades cup? I believe. So I don't actually know which boss is at the end of this one. Um, what, what's the order of operations? Like, should should Sephiroth be fought after the last boss? I, I assume so. I, I, I'm under the impression he's the the most difficult boss. Um, Nothing to it. So I should probably go do the other secret bosses, and then um, the final boss, and then Sephiroth. Oh, question mark boss. The question mark cup is just a single fight? Okay, cool. So I can just go fight him now, is that right? I should do that. Now. I'll go I'll beat him right now. I'm getting so many lucky techs in this fight. Like an unbelievable amount. That was a skill tech. I think one of them is still alive. Oh no, he died at some point. Nothing to it. Yeah, and no, I know I know there's a secret boss in Agrabah too. That's the one that won the contest, right? I know about that one a little bit. Well, okay. I guess that's that. Just used arrow. track. I can't wait to hear the FF7 remake version of this song. It's so good. <laughs> oh, this song's so good. He's 
pretty strong. He's pretty strong. Yeah, I can't actually do a visible amount of damage to him, so yeah, that'll uh, we'll come back later. I I heard I heard Sephiroth is like like level sixty five plus. Um, like it's not even worth fighting him if you're not uh, if you're not that high. So like yeah, that's not. <laughs> He's cool though. He's really cool. So what actually is the advantage of Oblivion uh, versus Divine Rose? Because uh, Divine Row is like it's clear cut. Um, oh, he has an invisible health bar. I see. Okay. Um, yeah, because th this one's pretty clear cut. Its advantages, um, but Oblivion. I mean, it just says possesses colossal power. So if, if anyone has any uh, input on what Oblivion, it's just worse in this game. Okay. Nothing. Okay, so I'll just switch back to Divine Rose. Okay, well that was cool. Um, am I actually at a high enough level to do the Agrabah secret boss? Like, is that actually doable at this point in the game, or is it just going to be like Sephiroth, where it's like you're you're way too low a level? Doable? Really hard? Okay. Let's see how far we can get through the Hades Cup. If I die again, I'll move on, but, um... Oh, there's a Neverland boss? Okay. Maybe that won't be good. Oh, if you could get past the gimmick, the Neverland one's more doable. Fuck, I have no idea what the gimmick is, so. I actually have no idea about the Neverland boss. And that's Neverland, to be clear, not Wonderland, right? So that's Peter Pan? Peter Panland? London? I wish they would just call it London. Glide is so fun in this game. It's got a good feel to it. Good hit. Wow, level 70 is the recommendation to do Kurt? Is, is Kurt the one in Agrabah? Because fuck. I am nowhere close to level 70. You guys are aware of that, right? Like, I'm level, like, 45 or some shit? Come on! Come 
I could do Kurt nonetheless. Okay. Oh, really good XP late in the game? Okay, cool. Well, that'll, that'll help, I guess. That sucks. That sucks. I kept doing it with the same exact timing and he just dropped at some point. You actually do have to correct yourself. Yo, Goofy's fucking in there. Yo, everyone fucking in there. What is that? Oh shit. <laughs> That's pretty strong. Goofy, I need you so much right now. Yeah, Goofy, get in, get in. Yeah. Nothing to it. Ooh. That should be really good. That's what Genji Gear is. Damage numbers on Proud are really brutal, man. I didn't realize I should have healed there. Yeah, it just seems better. Okay, well, I'll leave now and I'll come back when I'm I'll come back when I'm stronger and hopefully we should be able to plow through it. Oh wow, I didn't even notice. Okay, I was wondering why earlier in the game there was there was two sets of the same ranking boards. Uh, I really like how Hades has just fucking plowed his over the top. That's really great. Rock Titan, huh? Hades is number ten. <laughs> Hades is not even number one. Cloud and Leon. Yo, look at these boss spoilers. Spookies? The Behemoth. The Bad Union. Also Sora? Huh. Yeah, the 99 Dalmatians give you, um... Eroga, right? That's, that's what you get for getting all those guys. I think. Uh, so I want to go to the desert, right? Oh, Sora is where I placed, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking stupid. Oh, he's way bigger than I thought he was gonna be. <laughs> I have seen art of this guy before. Uh... 
I thought he was like human sized. Oh my god, I can't cast. Oh my god, that was what he did at the beginning. Man, so you can't cast. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a doable fight right now. Uh, some of you guys said this was doable, but like, if I'm gonna die in one hit, I'm not gonna call that a doable fight. Uh, that doesn't seem, that doesn't actually seem doable. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna head to the to the next area. By the way, there's no like when you beat the game, you can just continue going around, right? Like we won't. Um, it's not just gonna lock me out, right? Velgadwari, that's really great that you did it around my level on normal difficulty. That's really, that's really impressive. There's a clear point of no return? Okay. So, is it one of those games where when you beat the last boss, you just load back up at the previous save? Is that, is that the, the end game structure? I always prefer the, like, you beat the last boss, you get a mark on your save file, you, you warp, it, it warps you back to, like, the town or something like that, and you can always go do the last boss again if you want. That's my preferred. My preferred. Gummy ship is so fucking top class. You don't fuck with this gummy ship. Look at that. Look how much life it has. All those life blocks. Yo, I went to Lego Land before. I know how to build. No worries, Velgadore. No, no, I totally knew it wasn't a <laughs> wasn't a brag. I'm just making fun. These guys look really tough. <laughs> Probably shouldn't take any hits from these fuckers. Oh my god, I, I don't think I've destroyed a single one either. Are these even destroyable? Probably are. My, my lasers are too weak. And <laughs> those red ones? Fuck me. The song is so wonderful. It, it's really the saving grace of the gummy ship stages. As all gummy ship fans in the world scream at me. The saving grace of the gummy ship stages is the gameplay! No. <laughs> no. End of the world. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I saw someone say in the chat End of the World wasn't in Chain of Memories, but I'm pretty sure End of the World wasn't Chain of Memories. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure um, Hollow Bastion wasn't, but End of the World was, I think. Hey, Zone. Gorge, is that all that's left of the worlds taken by the Heartless? Those worlds will be restored if we beat Ansem, right? Yeah. But 
If we do beat him, and all these worlds become restored and disconnected, what's gonna happen to this place? And to us? This is a heartless world, so maybe it'll just disappear. Huh? But no worries. Even if this place goes poof, our hearts ain't going nowhere. I'm sure we'll find our pals again. Yep, I just know that we will. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I'll return this. I promise. So can I step in the... Oh, nice. What a cool area. What a, like, nicely designed area. Is there anything behind the rock? No, you actually can't go back there. <laughs> That's a bummer. I kind of wish it was a bit more open. Oh, so fixed fights throughout, okay. Wow, that damage. Music's really fucking good, I gotta say. <laughs> Not that it's any secret that Yoko Shimomura is like master tier, but like, fuck. Um. Oops, not journal. Status 2300. Oh, I thought there would be one per chest or something. Oh, fuck! Do exactly like he puts the sword in the oh I have things around me oh I see how did I never notice that before I would have sworn he did it before the enemies are really cool though. coming down. If I touch those, do I get a fight? That would happen earlier. Mega potion. Cool. Uh, Antoids, I can tell you with 100% certainty that I have no plans to stream any Trails in the Sky game. Like, 100% certainty. I'm just not that into them, to be honest. But also, like, the game that just came out, the one you're referring to, is like, that's like the third in the series. So, I would be so beyond lost as well. Played the first one briefly. I played Cold Steel for a little while. I, I, I'd i like to go back to Cold Steel, but I, I wouldn't have any plans to stream it. They're incredibly long games. Yeah. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I like Cold Steel Antoids, but, like, you know, <laughs> I, 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 you know, just, just no plans to stream any of them. They're, they're just incredibly long games, and I don't have time in my life anymore for big RPGs, really. Um, 
feel like I'm very, like, over big RPGs in a lot of ways. Even Persona 5, I'm kind of, like, struggling to play through. It's just such a time sink. Tokyo Mirage Sessions, I really like. I find I like trying so many different games that I never end up like, being able to beat any of the RPGs that I buy. You know? Damage is fucking gargantuan. Hopefully, we can get him soon because he's actually doing a good amounts of damage. Oh, yeah, stand on the horn for maximum damage. You can't actually really get away from the lightning in this arena, can you? It's too small. Lock-on system is so fucked. Like, right there I was looking at an enemy, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna lock on to this enemy. And I hit lock-on, and it locks on to the enemy literally behind me. Damn it, we both healed, like, at the same time. Like, this lock-on system is so beyond fucked. Prioritize enemies in front of the player, not fucking behind them. Even if they're closer, like... Like, the camera's looking at that enemy. The player clearly means to lock on to that enemy. Holy shit. I know I'm complaining about things that are fixed in Cage 2, but fuck. At a certain point, I have to wonder if they even, like, scrutinized it that much. I know cameras in video games are n notoriously difficult to make, but, like... Or I should say good cameras in video games are notoriously difficult to make, but, like, fuck. All the enemies in this world are fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited for Darksiders 3. I, I want to buy a copy, a PS4 copy of uh, both of the previous games, uh, like a disc copy of them. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting on that. I don't know. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know why I picked up there. Um, Cause I'd like to, I'd like to really play through them again. The first Darksiders I haven't played in fucking forever. Um, but like, Dark Dark Two, I actually never finished. Even though I QA'd it, like I wasn't the guy assigned to doing full playthroughs. I was, I was just like a misc tester assigned to finding good bugs. And I found some fucking good bugs in that game. I tell you what. Um, but I never actually played through it. To be honest, like. Um, most of the team was laid off from THQ before the game, before it was possible to do a full playthrough of the game. Like, when I when I was laid off from THQ um, because of the shutdown, uh, it wasn't actually possible to finish the game. Um, so, I'd love to go back and actually be able to finish the game. Um, All I knew was, like, the, the last thing in the game you could play at the time was, like, a temple that had, like, a portal gun-like thing, but you could only use it on fixed points. And I knew they had to cut the real world, like, really dramatically. 
but I don't really know the, the, the extent of that because it never existed. <laughs> Yeah, Sakoshi. Every, everyone got laid off at THQ. They they, 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 they shut down. So, um, I'm not I'm not ashamed to admit I got laid off from a company that that got shut down. <laughs> What game did I hate testing the most? Should I put Lucky Strike on? Um, what game did I hate testing the most? I, I never developed a full hatred for it, but I was on UFC 3 for a long time. Um, and it, I was really tired of it by the end. There was I don't think there was ever a game that I was QAing, QAing, excuse me, that I actually hated, but um yeah. Oh, I see. That's good. Yeah, there was nothing that I actually hated. I feel pretty confident about saying that. Yo, I'm going to have such a long air combo, which I hear is actually a negative, but whatever. I want to get him MP haste, but for now I'll put Lucky Strike on. Yeah, there was never one that I actually hated, though. Really just, um... UFC 3 became really tiring after a long enough period of time. I think there were more projects that I, like, genuinely really liked. Like, you grow bored of any project if you're on it for long enough. That's like, that's the reality of it, you know? But there was there were so many good times with so many other projects that I, I, I have a hard time picking out moments that I hated or anything like that. Like, testing Tomb Raider's multiplayer was like the most fun fucking thing. Tomb Raider's multiplayer was like incredibly fun. Dawn of War 2 Retribution was like, even though that's not really like my type of game, like I, I like Warhammer a lot, so like that really jived with me. Um, doing um, uh, uh, Warhammer 40k, oh, I forget what it's called, Dark Millennium Online, which got canned. Uh, that was a really fun game to test. Uh, that was really enjoyable. Um, lots of good stuff. What's the strangest bug I've ever seen? I don't know. The strangest bugs are like, do X thing, and like, I don't know, character model gets stretched ridiculously, or like, game crashes for a reason that you really can't discern. Like, you don't usually get like, exciting and fun stuff. You know, like that amazing visual bug that they encountered in um, uh, the last edition of uh, Sony's The Show? Like, that kind of bug is like, so ridiculously rare seldom. Like, that stuff doesn't happen. <laughs> Darksiders 2 had a lot of fun bugs, though. The the combat system and the mobility systems... Fuck me. I got too, I got too greedy there. I really wanted to kill it. I knew I was low on health. Um, the combat system and the mobility systems were so open um, that, like, you could... Like, at pretty much any given point with a wall, um, you could get out of world immediately by using like a combination of wall running and various attacks to move to 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 push you higher in the air. Um, nothing like freaky or anything, but like super fucking fun to test. It's just like, yo, you go out of world here. Yo, you go out of world here. Yo, check out where you can go if you go here. Just platforming through dungeons in ways that are super unintentional, like climbing onto the tops of walls where there's no collision and stuff like that. Uh, really, really fun stuff. Darksiders 2 was a blast. Oh, that's a weird bug. A certain bug where in FF14 with the latest patch, fishing at a certain spot would cause the server to crash. That's a heck of a bug. something? Oh, now I can walk forward. I would have sworn I just hit an invisible wall there. 
Yeah, Nier Automata has a lot of Outer World stuff. I, uh, off stream, I actually did find like an out of world that I've been trying to just happen. So, I'm not surprised. Like, if ever you can find a bug like that without even trying, then yeah, it's pretty clear that you, if you do try, you'll be able to find a fucking ton. Probably a bad idea to be up there, but you know, it's fine. Like, while he's charging up his huge attack. It's probably a really bad idea. But it's fine. No fear. Getting on the behemoth's butt is a pain. Here we go. Okay, get stunned already, though. Like, seriously. There we go. Having that many air attacks actually seems like a really bad idea. Like, I'm hitting the ground before I can even finish my strength. Maybe that's just because I'm too low, but I don't know. Would I recommend Automata on PC? Uh, you have to check your PC versus like the spec, or, like the, the issues with the game. Because I hear there's AMD specific issues, um, and if you if 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 you have certain GPUs, I hear there's 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 trouble. So you'd have to check individually. Otherwise, yes, I would recommend it on any platform. But um, you're gonna have to check to make sure your your setup doesn't fuck you over. Glad you enjoyed it, Sakoshi. It was really fun to do the Nier DLC. Yeah, there's invisible walls all over the place here. For some reason. It was really fun to stream the Nier DLC. I wish there was more, to be honest, but hey. What are you gonna do? Wind. I mean, I, I wish the Nier DLC also had, like, another big, surprising thing to it. There was one, like, neat section at the end. Um, but it wasn't, like, mind-blowing or anything. It was, it was different, it was a bit unexpected, but, like, it didn't... It wasn't as impactful as any big moments from the game, you know? Now, I always rub my nose over Salamander because, uh, or Salamander, because uh, I, I have I have dry skin on my face, uh, and it's fucking bothersome uh, for some reasons these days. It's real, it's real itchy. So can't be helped. You know? I should see a dermatologist to be honest. <laughs> These guys just have a lot of health. Not like the most fun thing to fight. Almost. Let's just heal for safety's sake. Wow. Them iframes. Yo, them iframes though. <laughs> Are you actually a dermatologist, Special K? <laughs> or do you just want pictures of my face? Because you can get pictures of my face. What was the most frustrating bug to fix slash find the root cause of? I don't know, that's tough. Usually, usually like, when you find a, an issue... If it's like if it's really not solvable, you just you start talking with the programmers and the other testers around you, and you work together on the on the on the problem. And most stuff is solvable. You know, at, at some point the programmer will just go, okay, well let's just change how this works if this is causing so much problems. You know, so um, it's it's really hard to remember specifically. Like how many loaves of bread have you eaten in your life? It's hard to remember which bugs are the most special unless you know unless you got real lucky. Or the most pain in the ass to track down, I should say, which was the actual question. Um, there were a bunch that were hard to track down, but like... Dark Matter seems like a good thing. Oh no. Oh well, we- OH FUCK! 
Right, it stops you from flying. Can I grab these? Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, I knew that would work. Drill G. That was a safe point down there. Oh, that's a crazy slope, okay. I wanna try to make sure I'm not missing stuff in here, but like, this is such a dense area, I feel like it'd be really easy to miss stuff. Also, this is a really nice area. Uh, really, really clever and feels different from other areas in the game. I like how it's kind of a narrow, um, oh, this is an enemy encounter. I like how it's like a narrow, like, gap between two cliffs, kind of. Because it lets them really make like a large area, considering the PS2 memory limitations. This is really nice this area. Making this tall, narrow space just works. What are you guys charging? Oh my god, I got a heal. Oh my god, I cancelled my heal. Oh my god, you guys were totally right. Stop jumping and casting. Reset. <sighs> Sorry, guys. It's a bad bungle. You know, that's fine. If we miss some chests in here, I guess it's alright. I don't want to repeat this room like four times, you know? It seems like it'll just be a big pain in the ass. Oh, those are just sparkles. I thought they were actually a thing. Yo, a full life gummy, who gives a fuck? Let me return that to Walmart for $15. I don't want it. back, I suppose. I thought it would give me a prompt. Green one does bring you back. <laughs> That's kind of cool. This looks like a big fight. Oh, this is like uh, Trevor's Town. You know, I gotta say, it's nice that Arrow does damage now, because at least these guys take damage even when I'm uh, the wrong side. Thunder. 
I never tried using Fire Eye Gosh, at least. See ya. Big damage. I deserved that death. I wasn't healed, though. I love enemies who drop gear, like that guy just dropped a protect chain. It's always so satisfying when you find an enemy in an RPG who drops like a piece of gear that's worth a fair amount of money and they drop it like with a fair frequency, so you end up grinding that gear off of them and then selling them. It's so rewarding selling them after the fact. And also something about it being a, a piece of gear rather than a raw, raw material makes it feel like all the more rewarding I find. Maybe that's just me. Spirit Gem. Is that one of them newfangled gummies? I guess that was just for the spirit gem. Okay. Are there 10 of these rooms? It's gonna be a good time. Yeah, I, I, I imagine they're optional. They're all just. I mean, you can just walk right the fuck around them. <laughs> let me let me see how much XP this next one gives me, and it'll give me a good metric. Of, like, should I, should I keep... Does it 4,800 XP? Like, I think it'll probably be worth it to do that. As, like, as slow as it is, probably worth it for the XP and the items you get at the end. Oh my god, you're just a little too high. I'll fight you instead. Okay, now you're dead, though, so you guys have to come down a little bit. There we go. Don't want to be bouncing off the shield all over the place. 
Also, they're super easy to get rid of if you get behind them. Ah, that was bad. That all of them? Nice, okay. So, we needed 4,800 going in. So, it was like 2,200 experience. So, yeah, we could probably get a few levels by doing this. Is there actually a chest in here? Oh, yeah, over there behind the foot. Neat. Take care, Unit 24. Have a good one, dude. Then fight Sephiroth, yeah, if only. What a gauntlet that would be. Oh, it's nice to be back at the forest. That's a good change of color palette. So when's the sniper wild fight? What are we doing that? Ow! Ow! Stop! Again, I usually say that right before I die, so... Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, free money. Yeah, are there more gun enemies in Kingdom Hearts 2? Because <laughs> in this enemy, there's a, there's a couple guys who, who are guns, right? Like, Sniper Wild uses a gun. Uh, what's his fucking face from the end of the Tarzan stage? He uses a gun. Are there more gun enemies? I, I would hope that number only goes up. I also wish one of the organization members used a gun, but I think I know that that's not true. Because I believe I've seen all of them. Oh, and Port Royal they use stuff? Cool, cool. Oh, there's a sniper enemy in Organ or, uh, Organization 13, really? Damn. I need to go down that list. I would have sworn there wasn't. I'll show you memories from 13 years ago. You didn't know what was up. I'm 
No! Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, I still wanted to fight you. Oh shit. Probably. Oh shit. You know what? Oh fuck, why can't I summon Dumbo? Why can I summon Bambi there, but not Dumbo? What's, what, what's, what's, what's the deal with that? Does Bambi cost less magic? Is that what it is? That's probably what it is. I'm probably answering that question. Did you see the autocorrect on that guy? Holy shit, he spun around. Don't do it again. He did it again, he did it again! <laughs> This fucking guy. <laughs> oh, Bambi's really only one MP? Yeah, that explains it. It's true, you know what? I should have summoned Bambi anyway. Yeah. There's probably a treasure chest somewhere up here, right? Based on what I've learned from the previous worlds. Oh, all the doors are blocked off. Is there no chest in Agrabah? That'd be peculiar. Yeah, well, maybe it's destined to just be peculiar. Okay, well, I can deal with that. There is a chest in here, gotta go up. Really? Oh, by the, by the palace gates, so further that away. There we go. Thanks for the insight. Oh yeah, jump out of world. You could probably... <laughs> if they would let you grab there, you could totally get that high. This is a super inadequate way to block the place. <laughs> You'd have thicker blockades. Tougher blockades. Oh, the chest is the friends I made the long... Uh, the chests are the friends I made along the way. I, I'm into that. Oh, shit. These enemies were all pretty straightforward, though, weren't they? Except you couldn't dodge. Right, right, right. That was what it was. You could only swim up and down. Which one was it? Circles up, squares down. Right. Oh, and if you mash the circle, you get the fucking boost down the middle. You should be dead. Okay, yeah. Did that enemy, like, spawn at all in the area? In the Atlantis area? Not Atlantis. Atlantica? I don't fucking remember. Atlanta? The one that splits into a bunch of little enemies? I don't remember him. Probably the arrow. Twice for safety. Oh, it did spawn in those areas? Damn, I totally didn't notice them. At least I don't remember, anyway. Is this not a chest? Okay, there we go. Yeah, good item. Look at me, I got two of them. I save them up. Yeah, Zalan, Code Vein looks fucking good.
the anime Bloodborne I always wanted. But I never knew I wanted. Oh, fun. I'm, I'm glad it's this area. I didn't think we'd ever get to come back to Ogibuyi Place, so that's really nice. Reuse that boss area. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely happy with this, that it's not like the, the central hub area. The city, town, I should say. Yeah, uh, Vajula, Vajula says he missed my visit to Halloween Town. What were my, my thoughts on it? Um, I think the layout kind of sucked. And I think there were bits where it was, you, you just had to go into coffins and shit that kind of sucked. Uh, as far as the actual theming and the music, I liked it. Uh, I like the enemies too, the, the, their designs. And also Sora, Donald, and Goofy's unique designs. They look great. Um, Oogie Boogie was cool too, even though, even though I did the boss battle pretty poorly. It was all it was all pretty cool. I just wish the navigation was a bit more straightforward than that. Sora's such a fucking cute with that mask on his face. Look at him. Look at him. Those dick sucking eyes. Shit. Now I can't look away. Don't meet his gaze. Oh fuck, I meant to open the chest and there was another enemy so I used Arcanum. I totally thought there was no more enemies because I locked onto the chest. I think my favorite world in general, PK something, is still 100 Acre Wood. Despite its bullshit, I just like it a lot. Oh yeah, that's true, you can't see his icon because my face is over his face. It was there, it was super cute. Go back. Look at him. There we go. Fuck. Shit. Yeah, after after I play through this, I might watch a proud mode uh, proud mode speed run of the game. I tend to like to do that. Like when I finish when I finish a game, I'll just be like, "Yo, I should I should see how someone who's good at the game did it." It's it's, it's interesting. Also, like with it so fresh in your mind, it's easy to really pick up on the things they're doing. Oh my god, stop. What's the point? This doesn't go anywhere. Why can you even grab it? Like, I know it's like, hey, we got all these fun movement systems, right? But, like, what's the fucking point of even putting a grab, like, a, a, a grab um, mark up there? Like, why would you do that? Ooh, wow, even better. The most powerful shield. That's so definitive. Is that actually the most powerful shield? Is there is there an Ultima shield or is that is that is that, is that that? Also, this area appears to be done. I'm just gonna check up top, but it seems like this one was way smaller. No, you can't even go up top. You can't fly now. So, like, look at Goofy. He just loves it, but he doesn't go anywhere. Well, that one goes somewhere. But the, the top one goes fucking nowhere. Oh, save the king is a stronger shield? Okay, well. I guess I'll never trust item descriptions anymore. So this one's green. And if I've learned anything about colors, it's that green is not the same color as purple. So I assume we're gonna fight some sort of boss in here, because there doesn't seem to be a, a, an exit. Oh my god, it's 100 acre wood, don't do this to me. Oh my god, there's a save point in 100 acre wood. 
What the fuck is going on? Don't make me fight a hundred acre wood. Don't make me desecrate this land. Oh, phew. Oh, green means safe zone. If there's anything I've learned about colors, it's that red is not the same as green or purple. Oh, cool. Oh my god. By mashing X after casting wind, he cast it a second time instead of casting Q. Why is that? I need to go through the menus. I, need to, I, I think after this, I'll backtrack to the Poo Zone. Just to see what's happening in the menus. So I've done that twice, maybe three times now. Where I've cast Arrow twice in a row. But I know for a fact on the second cast, I'm mashing X. So I need to look at the actual menus. Yo, it's Ansem's heart machine, I suppose. I don't see what else this could possibly be. Consummate the great heart. Oh, they said the name! That's the name! We really are the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 HD remix. No, this is too small a room. This is too small a room for this fight. I'm sorry, don't make me fight in here. I already don't like it. Okay. Can I break it? No. The sprites in my way. that I was casting arrow twice in a row. What was I doing wrong? Wind. Wind. Oh, I see. I, I see what I was doing wrong. So if I hit, you hit... I was hitting square once, twice, Defense. and then three times. Defense. And then when I hit X... Ah, I see. Okay. That explains it. So I have to really be careful to cast it only twice. We truly are the Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue 0.2 Birth by Sleep, A Fragmentary Passage. That's good. <laughs> Zone, that's a fucking bad joke. Goofy's been a bad dog, he never heals. That's a fucking bad joke. Plug my headphones. This music sound from just a second ago. I feel like this guy was in um, Chain of Memories. Is he from uh, uh, Fantasia 2000? No, he's from the first Fantasia. And it's got a song and everything. That's awesome. I always liked that they had the wizard from Fantasia, because like that's such a that I, I find that's such an important piece of Disney media that like not a lot of people give a shit about. 
Honestly, Fantasia and Fantasia 2000, like, aside from Mulan, like, Disney movies, I adore those. I wish they'd make a new Fantasia, man. That'd be fucking dope. They never did after Fantasia 2000, right? Gotta put my headphones on for the music. Oh yeah, Chernabog, that's his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I frames. Very not hard boss, but he's quite cool. Oh, he comes back in Dream Drop Distance. That's cool. Except for that, you guys seem to say he's neutered in Dream Drop Distance, which sucks, but hey. Oh, he was supposed to be the big bad for the whole series, but we got anime instead? Damn. Oh, you get Super Glide. Does that just make you glide faster? Or does that let you glide everywhere? Oh. Into the, uh... Okay, no. I saw there was a door up there. Yeah, I'm disappointed by us getting anime. Anime sucks. Mm. Where are we now? <laughs> what is this cave's purpose? I don't know. Yeah, uh, orc failure because I, I did work on Dark Millennium Online. Uh, for, so teach you shut down. So there's no there's nothing uh, binding me from saying anything about it. Because yeah, you're right. There was not much revealed about it. Um, it didn't get that far um, in development. Um, so there's not tons to talk about. Press square to fly at high speeds. Nice. Let me just try this real quick. Oh, I see. Neat. Okay, cool. Didn't get that far in development, um, but it was playable in a, in a local area. Uh, had two different factions at the time, uh, the Marines and the um, Works, um, and it played it played a lot like uh, almost like Gears of War mixed with Borderlands, but it had like kind of a lighter, faster feeling um, than Gears of War. Um, that might sound like a bad thing, but it was actually really enjoyable. So it had like a bunch of, it had like an open world, obviously, and it had dungeons around the world, and you like go into them with your with your friends, uh, and you gun your way through the dungeons. And to be honest, it was really fun. There was also like an involved PvP mode that had like uh, that had a bunch of like smaller like designed multiplayer maps, and it just turned into like a competitive shooter at that point. You could turn off your uh, buffs and just play it like like a straight shooter, or you can play it with your equipment buffs. And it was like a bit more chaotic. Uh, it's a very enjoyable game, though. very fun, very fun to test. But it didn't get so far along that there's like a ton to say about it. So. Oh, 
Like, to be honest, not much else comes to mind as far as, like, the thing the game was kind of, Like, that was kind of what it was. It was more derivative than it was original, which I guess is like most Warhammer games. Um, but, uh, it, w it was very fun. Yeah. So. Is there a game I tested that I was sad was canned or never saw the light of day? Yeah, that game. Oh shit, so I have to keep destroying these. I was sad that DMO never came out, because that was fun. But it got canned for good reason. It's gonna cost way too much to make. It was kind of ridiculous to make an MMO at that period of time. So. Honestly, they spent too much on it as far as I'm concerned. As much as I enjoyed testing it, like, it was one of the big expenditures that THQ was last able to make. Otherwise, I didn't really get to work on any games that got cancelled, I think. I think. I'm trying to remember just to be sure. I believe I haven't worked on any other cancelled I knew a lot of, about a lot of games earlier, like uh, Guillermo del Toro's project Insane with THQ that was meant to be like horror thing. Um, like I knew about that for a long time, but there was no that there was never a game. Like <laughs> that game was a trailer and nothing else, you know. So um, I knew about Evolve a long time before it came out too. Like I knew about Evolve back at THQ. Um, in a very early, early form. Fuck, that did way more damage than I thought it was going to do. Um, I knew about Evolve very, very early on. It was really cool when we first saw it. Because we looked at it and we were like, oh, this is with Turtle Rock, the Left 4 Dead guys? This is like a slam dunk project. Um, and the lack, it kind of seems like 2K sort of bombs project in a lot of ways. But, um, it was really exciting at the time. That's for sure. I, I hate that like the way Evolve was announced was so awful. Where like the first thing that was announced was like pre-order the game, get extra DLC, and there was no gameplay or anything. It was just like pre-order, get DLC, and so it like gave everyone a really bad impression right out of the gates, which sucks because like at THQ, the few people who knew about it were like, "Yeah, it's gonna be fucking awesome." And then when I saw it publicly, I was like, "Yeah, Evolve." And then I looked around, I was like, "Oh, everyone hates it." Because they announced it shitty. Two K seriously blew up. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I should summon Super Dog, right? Let's just do that now. Give me strength. Uh, Rio, I, I don't really have any, there's nothing I can really say about Evolve, like, the whole DLC thing was, like, years after THQ shut down, like, that was, there's a, there's a very large period of time before me, between me knowing about Evolve and it getting announced. To be honest, for a little while I thought it was gonna get canned, just because I didn't think it would survive the gap between THQ and getting picked up by someone else. But yeah, like, I have nothing else to say on that, like, it's... That's that's all I knew about it. Was it existed? It looked really cool. It, it it was really early. Like it was a lot of stuff was untextured. The art didn't look quite the same because it was unfinished. It was all like prototype art and stuff. You know, like so no, I I can't shed any light on anything. That that was all all 2K after that. You know. Uh, wow, I lost Tink already. Where to fucking go? I remember hearing about South Park Stick of Truth way before it was announced too, because that was a THQ project as well before Ubisoft picked it up. And that was really exciting, because I, I like Mario so much. But even back then, it was development troubles. That game's development was not smooth. <laughs> not smooth at all. It's a shame, like, I, I can understand why they didn't want to work with Obsidian, because the, the game had a lot of development problems. Um, most, mostly just boiling down to it was fucking slow. 
Like that, like a game like that should not take as long as it did to develop, um, but it did. And it's a shame that Fractured Butthole is like, it seems like it's also having a crazy problem. Yeah, I definitely think the rationale of not working with Obsidian was like, okay, let's try to mitigate some of those development issues. Um, but like, yeah, I don't know if it's working out. <laughs> like, Fractured Butthole's been delayed too. Double heal. Yeah, let's go. Oh my god, there's a lot. If I can just get that guy. Good job, though. Oh my god! Fuck me! Fuck! Fuck! I really didn't think I'd die there. Sorry, I was looking at chat there too, that was bad. I have no idea what the delays for Fractured Bug Hole are. Somehow doubt it's Matt and Trey Parker, though. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, they're on the right end, you know? Like, as much as it's their baby, at the same time, it's like. I highly doubt the delays are due to writing. Like, uh, it's probably just the game's, the game's super not ready, you know? I should resummon the tank, shouldn't I? Yo, Tannison, South Park's super good though. <laughs> I don't, I don't watch it regular or with any sort of regularity because I don't have TV. Um, but like, I like South Park a lot. It's a very fun show. It's got some fucking strong satire. It really does. <laughs> this room's tough. Yeah, this room's super tough. Man. Yeah, I, I don't know if it still is or used to be. I, I have no idea. Like, I haven't, I haven't seen. I've probably only seen twenty episodes of South Park in my whole life, but I, I liked it. I liked what I saw. It. <laughs> I guess I can't speak to its current qualities lab. Also lost Tink at some point again. It was my favorite company to work for during QA. THQ, at THQ, like, the benefits were crazy. They were spending a lot of money per employee on, on like, fun benefits. Um, but the projects were less enjoyable on the whole. There was a lot of licensed stuff, you know, UFC, stuff like that, right? Um, but, uh, boy, they put a lot of money into making sure the employees had a good... Eidos was much, much more, like, balanced. The benefits were not as myriad, but, like, um, the benefits were not as myriad, but, like, uh, the projects on the whole were of a much, much higher quality. You know, getting to work on stuff like Tomb Raider 2013, Sleeping Dogs, uh, Hitman Absolution. Even though Hitman Absolution's not, like, a great Hitman game, it's still, like, a more than serviceable third-person stealth game on average, right? So, like, it was still a fun project to work on. Um, 
So like, I just really balance it out with the game quality, I find. Fighting so many of these at the same time is a complete mess. Heal! Win! Heal! 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 Heal!
Holy shit, this room. God, oh, that room! Oh, man! Oh, boy! Fuck, that room's crazy! Oh, shit! Fuck! That room is so no joke! What the hell? <laughs> oh! So, so this is the point of no return, right? Oh god! There were so many bits in that fight where it was just like, rely on, rely on cure iframes, rely on cure iframes. Uh... The only thing that's getting you through here is cure iframes. Wow! Wow, wow, wow! That was crazy. Okay. So... Blah. So this is the point of no return, right? I've saved so many times. 
So this is, oh man, doing that room without the leaf bracer would be rough. 123, man, that'd be fucking rough. So now I should go do all the side shit, right? That's, that's apt. Okay. 